A cautionary tale indeed. Let's discuss it further. We're joined by Kate Bevan, a technology writer and broadcaster here in the UK. Kate, we heard there a little bit about how you get these bitcoins, this kind of way of mining them. Just explain what on earth they are. They're actually, they're what's called a cryptocurrency. They are the products of a computer program which produces them in response to um, running through algorithms. So they produce them every so often and, and there's a limited amount that's ever going to be produced. And the reason that they're, they're secret is because they are recorded in a giant online ledger, if you like, and that's encrypted. And that is open source and everybody has access to it. So they, you, you can always see where the bitcoins are going, although you can't see who they go to. So it's like a, a giant bookkeeping exercise exercise that everybody can see so that makes it um, it makes it secret but it also means they c that it's very difficult to be fraudulent with bitcoins where do you how, how do you, you don't physically hold them <laughs> no, where, you don't. How, how do you spend them I'm, I'm oh, you, you can spend them on all sorts of things I mean people think of them to do with criminal activity because they think of Silk Road and buying drugs but you can spend them on all sorts of things there's a pub in Hackney where you can spend bitcoins um, there's an ATM in Vancouver where you can change money into bitcoins um, Richard Branson has said that you can buy tickets on Virgin Galactic with bitcoins it's an alternative currency if you like the difference is it's not backed by any government or central bank um, it's it's validity if you like is this online ledger which is called the blockchain. But this idea that five years ago one Bitcoin was worth nothing, mm. now it's worth just over a thousand dollars, I believe. That's 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 bizarre. It's well, it's not if you think about it. I mean, any commodity can rise in value if people want to buy it. If there's a, you know a finite amount, I mean, okay, they're being produced all the time. But the way they're produced also means that they're harder to produce each time, and there's only ever going to be a finite amount of them. And so people are chasing after them. They're harder to produce, and people know about them. So by definition, their value is rising. But there are other cryptocurrencies as well. I mean, you can put your money into feather coins or light coins. <laughs> all, 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 all new to me. Um, with, with in, in this circumstance, their currency, their value is mm. rising. Mm. Is, is there a chance that, say, like we talk about the housing crash and all that kind of thing, is there a chance that they could devalue? Of course there is, like anything, like any commodity where there's a bubble, if you like. I mean, you know, the thing that people talk about is the tulip mania. Um, it's the same kind of thing, you know, this vast sort of talking up of something. And then suddenly the bottom falls out of the market. It could happen any time. I'm surprised actually how valuable they are at the moment, actually. So when I first started looking at them, they were like £20 each. And I should have bought some. <laughs> well, James did buy some. Yeah. He bought a lot, and unfortunately, he stored them on that hard drive. Is and there no way to sort no, of trace And they're gone. That? They're gone. They're absolutely gone because they they exist sort of in a finite way, if you like. No, that you can't recreate them. They're gone. It's, it's like if you lose cash. Oh, a cautionary tale. I know. Indeed. I know. So painful. But um, in in terms of these, do you think that they will become mainstream? That's an interesting question because they are not backed by a government, they're not part of a central bank, they're not part of, I mean, they are part of the global economy, but they're small amounts, they're quite volatile because the volumes are quite low still. Uh, they're interesting. Um, they, there was talk that they were used to take money out of Cyprus, for example, so they're an interesting way of moving money around. Yeah. <laughs> so will they take off? Who knows? Um, probably not because I think they don't have that, that backing of financial services, if you like, but... They're interesting. Um, the Winklevoss twins tried to set up a, a fund using bitcoins, but that was slapped down. So maybe, maybe another cryptocurrency will come along and do that. Maybe not bitcoins. Maybe. Well, let's um, let's hope that James has learned his lesson. But for all now, both. Kate Bevan, I know, indeed, wasn't he? <laughs> Thank you so much for explaining all that to us. Thank you very much, Kate Bevan. There.